What's up guys, Nuno here. In this video, you'll learn how to create a 3D model like this one. And this by only using your smartphone. And you can use this 3D model in any renderer. Be it Lumion, D5 Render, Unreal Engine or Corona Render. And no, you don't have to use an iPhone for this. It works both on Android and iOS. We are going to use a technique called photogrammetry. And what is photogrammetry, you ask? To put it simple, it is a photography mapping technique of objects. And in our case, it allows us to take several photos of an object and translate that into a 3D model. The most popular company doing this is Quixel with their mega scans. From small plants to massive cliffs, since it's a photograph from the real world, the results are super detailed, realistic 3D models and textures. We are going to use an app called Polycam, which you can download from the App Store on iOS or the Play Store on Android. After doing so, open the app and this is the interface. First, you need to create an account. This way, you have all your models on the cloud. On the top, you can see this light bulb icon which has some tips on how to use the app and take your photos. As you can see, it's best to take photos from all angles. A minimum of 80 photos is recommended and I suggest even taking some close-up shots. On the bottom left, we have this icon that says Auto. This will take automatically the photos once you press the Start button. I like to have control of what photos I want to take, so I switch this to Manual. Now, there are a couple of things you might want to do if you want the best 3D model out of the capture you are going to make. You'll have to shoot around the object, so either you place your object in a place you can move around it, or in my case, I went to IKEA and bought this round kitchen wooden tray. It's quite affordable and perfect to take photos of small to medium-sized objects. If you have some light with a softbox, I recommend using it because this way you will not have any harsh shadows baked into the texture of your 3D object. If you don't have any softbox, just shoot next to a window without direct sunlight. That works great as well. By the way, just tag my Instagram with your best scanned 3D models if you would like to get featured on my Instagram stories. Now, I just place the object in the center, hold my phone in the same position, and then I just rotate the plate for each new photo. I take several photos from different angles so I can capture all the details. As I mentioned before, I also take some close-up shots to get the best details. And by the way, if you can, shoot against the white wall or just put a piece of paper in front of it so it will be easier for the software to cut out your object. After you take all your photos, you can click here on the images and see the photos you have taken. You can quickly swipe for them, and if you see one that is out of focus, you can click the trash icon to delete it. Here in the detail section, you can select which type of processing you want. If you're going to use this for rendering, I recommend using the full, since it has a higher poly count and higher resolution textures. It also comes with all the necessary maps. Select Use Object Masking if you don't want the background to be processed. Then just click here Upload and Process to let the magic begin. After it's done, it will show you the model on your phone. You can see this looks very good and really detailed. Now on the computer, let's go to polycam.com and log into our account. We can see here all the models we created. Let's click on this one. We can inspect here the model as well. And now in the top right corner, we have the export button. I usually select FPX and OBJ FPX comes with the textures already applied to the object, but I like to have them separately as well. So I download the OBJ, which comes with the textures separately. Let's open the model in any 3D model application and delete the areas we don't need. Save it and let's import it to any 3D renderer. In my case, I'm going to load it into Lumion. I just click Import and then press OK. And as you can see, it comes already with all the textures applied. I don't need to do anything else. Let's just take a quick render. <laughs> it looks pretty good, especially for a 3D model that took less than five minutes to make. Now let's load the same model in D5 Render. We will click this icon to import. And as you can see here, we need to load the textures. So I'll go to the model folder and load the textures. I'll adjust some values. And this is the final result. And again, it's basically the same as the real world object. It looks really good. By the way, you can use this Polycam app for free and get 100 captures. Or you can subscribe for a monthly fee and get 150 photo captures per month. 
and access all your model captures on the web and export to all formats. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know in the comments below what you think of this app for 3D model scans. Don't forget to give it a like and tag me on Instagram with your 3D scans to get featured on my stories. And I'll see you in the next video.